Hello folks, we're back here at the old test bench or test fluff floor for that matter. This time we have our Gen 3 Toyota, or not Toyota, Nissan Leaf system. So from the bottom up, EM57 motor, 110 kilowatt inverter in the middle and 6.6 .6 kVA PDM on the top. Uh, so we have been doing some serious reverse engineering on this guy today in the last couple of days and uh, I got to say this thing has absolutely um, this thing has absolutely kicked my ass for the last few days trying to figure out particularly some of the PDM stuff but I'm pleased to announce that we have done so. Uh, we got this thing working pretty well, as I'm going to demonstrate. Apologies for the lighting. The sun has picked this exact moment to just start beaming in here on the on where we're trying to work. So not a lot I can do about that. So, quick recap. High voltage is being supplied courtesy of the land yacht via the Chademo port on the back. Uh, so we're coming in through that cable over there, if you see it right there, we have our ISA shunt um, up on the bench right there. That thing is our VCU. Got a computer, just talking to that at the minute. Got our wiring harness, a couple of old light switches here, just as I'll demonstrate in a minute, just for starting the car. Um, and over here, we've got a CCS2 charging port from, I think it's from some Kia vehicle, but more on that later. That thing uh, had a little nasty surprise for me also. So there's a little bit of a closer look at our shunt. Uh, we've got our power and can of that going up to the VCU, which is blinking away this little LED there. Uh, down here with our main and pre-charge contactors. I'm just using a cooker element here for pre-charge resistor. Uh, we've got all of our various wiring and stuff going on here. It's not that complicated. Um, it's just literally power ground, can high and can low. Um, everything on this stack is controlled via can. This white wire here. Just bring single phase mains in to the charging section of the PDM from our, uh, as I say, some Kia charging port. Got 12 volt battery just for supplying 12 volts. Got our nice wiring harness going up to our VCU and our web interface uh, running on the VCU. So this little switch here, just on the right, we have a ignition on and the one in the middle is uh, just a start button that's it just to simulate an ignition switch so finally just over here throttle pedal uh, so we can give this guy a little bit of throttle and see him spin all right so to go for a little drive of course, my microphone wire will decide to uh, obscure everything now. So to go for a little drive, ignition on, just flick the start. And because I'm a complete idiot and I forgot to turn on the, H the HV, that'll just do a pre-charge timeout for us. So go to demo, if nothing else. So let's turn on the HV. All right, so Chidemo contactors in the car are now on. We have HV up as far as our ISA shunt. So once more, ignition on. There we go. You hear all the clicking. And uh, our throttle pedal. It's a little gentle squeeze there. And there we go driving our Gen 3 system. 
So then we turn our ignition off. And if we want to charge, now all we have to do for charging, we don't have to go turning on any switches or anything like that. All we got to do is go plug in. And we go into charge mode. And there we go. Uh, let's scroll up a little bit for you. We're in charge mode. And we're putting uh, about 1.3 kilowatts into our uh, charging at the minute. There's our VCU. Happy as a clam. And uh, no switches required, just basically plug in. And we've just got a, just for the purposes of testing, I'm just on a little, um, it's one of these little granny cable things here. So that's charging. And then we want to stop charging. Excuse me, Mr. Blue Bottle, I'm trying to, I'm trying to film something here. Do you mind? Thank you. Out, I said, Mr. Blue Bottle. Seriously? Some of these guys just don't take a hint. Yeah, so when you want to stop charging, just plug out and uh, everything shuts down. And we're, uh, if I didn't have a crappy tripod, there we go. So, yeah, Gen 3. Um, leaf stack with the 110 kilowatt inverter, PDM, motor, the whole lot now operating happily with our little uh, VCU. So, I want to talk to you a little bit about this charging port. All right, so let's talk about this charging port for a sec here. So this came off a uh, fairly modern, I think a Kia or a Hyundai. Don't really know which one. Uh, and I'd used it earlier um, just for testing here on the Gen 2 system without any problems. Now, that was because at that time, I was just kicking the VCU into charge mode manually, just with a, with a switch, switch and then just plugging in the cable. So did a bit of can hacking and turns out that when the PDM uh, detects a plug pre pre present, so not the pilot, the short one, but the PP, um, it wakes up for a few seconds, uh, sends out ID uh, 679, 390, and 393, as if to say to the rest of the car, hang on a second, someone's plugged in a charging cable here, uh, maybe we should do something. So it turns out as well that in message 3, is it 390 or 393? Oh God, I can't remember. I think it's 393. Uh, message 393, Byte 5, the lower nibble, um, when there's nothing connected to the PP, gives you zero. And when it detects a plug, goes to eight. Now, it's probably a bit flipping that's causing that, uh, rather than it being just um, a particular number. But that's how we just interpret it for now. So when we plug in, 679 pops up once, which is just uh, as an um, length of one, and it just says zero, zero. So it doesn't transmit data. It's just the very fact that when you plug in, the charger kicks out 679 once as a kind of a wake up flag. But 390 and 393 transmit a good bit of data. So I was coming along here and I'm, I'm trying to test this and I'm plugging this in and there's, you know, there's all kinds of weird stuff going on. And then I noticed I actually cut the wire that I have going to the PP. And I'm joining this thing just to the, just joining this with no plug in. 
and all of a sudden the PDM wakes up, kicks out 679, gives 8 in byte 5 of 393, and then shuts off with nothing plugged in here. So I get a multimeter. I measure my resistance with all this stuff disconnected between earth and PP. And guess what I find? I find 2.7K. So, turn this thing around a bit. I don't know how this is gonna come out, probably not very well knowing my videoing skills. But you look on the back of this thing, and it says there's a couple of random numbers, and it says 7.09K K ohms and 2.68K ohms here. I'm thinking, what the hell is this? So I go in here. Oh, this is really turning into a mess job now. What could go wrong? It's only mains. There we go. Now, so I go in here. And I find this green wire is my, uh, this is my PP going down to the socket. And I find that there's a resistor connected to this, literally in a bit of heat shrink here. So I cut that, and lo and behold, everything now just works. Or at least it would, like I said, if I didn't, uh, <laughs> if I didn't, um, if I had my HV turned on. But anyway, uh, oh, it's ah, uh, gone silly on me here. So yeah. Don't know why there's a fixed resistance in here, um, but it's just interesting. Uh, and I'm beginning to wonder if having a fixed resistance in these sockets is either just something specifically that they did on this vehicle, or whether it's something that needs to be there for CCS with certain stations. I don't know. So answers on a postcard, please. Um, so that's it, folks. A little bit of a mystery of the uh, bit of a mystery here with our CCS socket for you. So anyway, that is our. Uh, uh, That is our Gen 3 LEAF system uh, working, driving and charging for us here with our Zombieverter VCU. So, as always, do not forget to check those links in the description for Patreon and PayPal and GitHub and Open Inverter Forum and DAL is EV Repair, because DAL have very kindly donated the PDM to us. And uh, anything else I can think of that might be interesting for you, I shall put a link in the description. And lastly, but most importantly, do not forget to dislike, do not share, unsubscribe from this stupid channel, and for Pete's sake, don't financially support me on those things, because then I just do more of this stuff. And let's face it, nobody wants that. So... Until next time, happy Gen 3 PDM charging and DC-DC converting and things like that.